back again. Um, as I said last week, we'll talk about a leak. Now, again, the leak is a battle on there. It goes way, way back uh, to when we were fighting the Saxons. And there is a case where they turned around and said that one of the Welsh kings, or St. David, said to put the leak in their caps when we fought the Saxons, and that would be a good omen, and we would win, which we did. But the one that I like is the one by Shakespeare. And it says that at the Battle of Agincourt, where the French were on the high ground and the British were on the low ground, with a dip in the middle that was a, a stream, that the Welsh archers from Snowdonia could engage the enemy at a longer range than the English bowmen. And they waited in their pairs. And when the French advanced, when they got into the rise that went into the little river, the English opened up. And when the, the French tried to get back, the Welsh opened up and it was a form of bracketing. A, a lot of the casualties in that river didn't die from the arrows, but drowned because of the weight of their armour and the horses that was on top of them. Now, after the battle, the Welsh was camped in a, a leak field and the master at arms, which was Felon, turned around to the king and he says, I hope you don't take this honour on this day, but the men of Wales wear the leak in the Monmouth cap because it is St. David's Day, which is another word for saying St. David's Day. And the king apparently picked up a leak, cleaned it, and he said, I have also have Welsh blood in my veins, and I will wear this with pride. And the leak then was come in. But again, it was a battle that was fought to get the leak. And of course, the regiment that wears it is the Welsh Guards, and they were formed in 1915, and the first Victoria Cross was by Sergeant Bay from Pontypridd. Again, if you would like to come to the museum and have a look at our selection of medals and the other artifacts that surround you, we'd be more than happy to see you. But if you want to have a look at the Welsh Guards, not to let them out, they've got a copy of his medal in the little museum by the police station in Pontypridd by the bridge. A suggestion. If you've got any questions about our regimental history, if you can send them to Kevin Richards or Richie42 or to Arvo Williams, Will71, we're on Facebook. You can send a question to us and we will try to find out the answer and we will get back and let you know in the same way that we're doing it now on film or DVD. And we'll get you the correct answer. It's better to do that and know the truth than make up things and get shown up later. So that's an invite for you to do things. Um, what we're going to do next is not on regimental history, but we were thinking of doing something on health things that veterans and elder members of the community need to know. But that will be our next session. I'm not going to say much more about the museum. It is here. The doors are open. Please come in and have a look. Thank you very much from the Regimental Museum of the Royal Welsh. Bye.